right guys so with this you want to pull it up and it comes right out and what I'm gonna do is disconnect your fuel pump module right here and we're gonna let the car run for pretty much until it shut off what's up guys welcome back to the channel thanks for checking out another video so if you're new to the channel this is my 2015 um, f80 m3 the goal for this build is to make somewhere around 650 horsepower why stay keeping the car daily drift drivable and um keeping it somewhat reliable as well and um as you guys know i already did um up upgrade a turbo and we do know for the S55, one of the weakest link is the um, Euro 6 injectors. So today I'm going to be upgrading or downgrading to the Euro 5 injectors. You also got to make sure you purchase new decoupler, I believe that's what they call. Fuel injector sealer ring. I got six injectors. These are the Euro 5. They are Bosch because the Bosch is a lot cheaper than the OEM. All right guys, so I'm pretty much gonna start by removing a lot of the stuff from the top. Strut brace, covers, charge pipe, more covers back there. There's another strut brace under the cover. You're gonna need an E12, a T50, and a 60 millimeter in the middle.
that looks like a 10 millimeter this one two three four 10 millimeter on the fuel rail so what i'm gonna do is popped up as you guys can see the garmin right here for the cooler the charge cooler i'm gonna try to lift it up a little bit just to get enough room to clear the 10 millimeter bolts on the fuel rail Alright guys, as you can see, that should be more than enough room to get to what you need to get to, as you guys can see. So these are 17 millimeter. I expect to spill at least a little bit of fuel. And these are actually 11 mil. All right guys, so this is a total of four 11 mil fuel rail bolts these are all out next i'm gonna move on to i'm just gonna go ahead and remove the car packs and the electrical connectors it is a little bit more to do but it should make my life a lot more easier sometimes it's better to just do it a longer way with more comfort than trying to fight something and end up breaking something else so to remove the car packs all you have to do is just pull Push that out. Sometimes they are stuck in there, so what I like to do is wiggle. Wiggle as much as you can. That helps you pull it up. And once you get the car pack out of the way, that's an electrical connector right here for the fuel injector that has to come out as well. And what I usually do is um, get my little pick, pull the clip and pull up. All right guys, now that we have everything out of the way, I went ahead and removed the, the hardness as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and crack out of these loose 14 millimeter.
gonna be using this injector too. I got off um, Amazon. Make sure you, you remember the orientation you took this out of. The last time I used this kit was when I worked on my S, um, my N55 in my X5. And um, turns out I'm missing one of my bolts. So I'm gonna try to just mount the up ones. We should give it a lot more leverage. Hopefully that should be enough to remove the injectors because it turns out I cannot find the second one that goes in here. I think I should be fine though. Man, it probably would be a good idea to go ahead and clean the setting up wall before pulling the injectors. Yeah. 
put it on over here, but not right now, though. Because I don't need it right now. It's a heat take. I don't need it right now either. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, so I already removed one and two, five and six. Now we're gonna go ahead and do three and four. I'm gonna do it with you guys one more time. Alright guys, so you want to do even turns on each injectors. So my car has uh, 75,000 miles on it right now and um, obviously as you guys can see three and four look a bit rough then the rest of them number two looks really clean I'm not sure if you guys can really even see these but this is what they look like at 74,000 miles, 75 roughly. And this is a 2015, so there you have it guys. So it might just be a good idea for you to just go ahead and replace your injectors just as a preventive maintenance item. All right guys. So the new injectors is going to have to be coded to the car, the, the floor rate. So this is what I'm going to do. This is going to be injector number one. And as you guys can see, this is the code I'm going to need for the injector. 215 Let's check another one This is gonna be 262 so the injectors are not 
rated are the same. So this is the main reason why you have to go ahead and code them to the car. This one is going to be 198. And on my oil injectors, you got 215, 215, 215, 215, and they are pretty much the same, 215 and 215. Basically looking at them, you already couldn't tell one from the other. Obviously the part number is going to be different. Germany, Turkey. Let me pull. I'm just going to go ahead and open one of these. And you got... Just by looking at them, you really couldn't tell there was a difference between the two, physically. You are supposed to use a special tool for the Teflon, as you guys can see right here. But I'm going to be doing this without that. Shouldn't be any problem, but if you wanted to do it the proper way according to BMW, you are supposed to buy a tool for this right here to go ahead and compress this Teflon before, insta before installation. Two or three. Two seven eight. So you're going to be needing that to call the injectors. I'm just writing them up there so it's a lot easier for me to see them. Make sure you double check them. You could go ahead and take pictures, whatever works for you. All right guys, when installing the seal ring, as you guys can see, the mesh shutter part goes towards the top. So the proper way to reinstalling the injector is to use the same tool we use to remove them and tucking them down to two nanometers, which I already think is isn't which ready isn't a lot, so I'm not gonna be doing that. 
I'm just gonna be putting them in by hand. And once I go ahead and torque down this bracket, it should pretty much seat them. So I already got the first one in. Just for one last time, as you guys can see, number one is 215. Two one five number two two six two number two goes like this, number one is like this right here cap is gonna have to come off So I got all the injectors installed. Make sure you torque these down to 13 nanometers. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the fuel rail. So first you want to just put them in snug just start the thread on each one of them So next, I'm just gonna go ahead and install the bolts. All four of them, just start the thread. The reason you wanna do this is so you don't have anything binding when you start to mount them. So you just wanna have them line up right now. Make sure everything is in the proper location before you secure them. the fuel line to 23 newton meters gonna be using a crawl foot crawl foot um, this is a 14 millimeter crawl foot so we have the fuel line secure now I'm just gonna go ahead and reconnect the electrical connectors. I'm gonna mount the, in, the charge cooler, the charge pipe, and then we're gonna jump right to coding. All right guys, so this is where I'm at right now. I have a power source hookup. Pretty much everything has been connected and I have my Insta hookup as well. You gotta go to operation. Read out vehicle data.
all right guys so next you want to go to vehicle management you want to go to service function powertrain engine electronics all right if you guys remember all my injector was at 215 215 215 215 so we're gonna go to no continue enter new adjustment value continue my setting the one is two one Five. My setting the two is um two six two. Continue. Setting a three is one ninety eight. Two, two. Continue. No. Alright guys, so you're pretty much going to repeat this for every cylinder. And once you have all the values enter. No. Continue. Save. Continue. Add the following value to be stored permanently. Just double check to one five two six two one nine eight two 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 zero three two seventy eight. Gonna go ahead and say yes. Continue. So it says to turn the car off, which is 15 and 30. Continue. This next to continue. So next you're gonna turn the car back on. All right, guys, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna do stop procedures. Continue. Continue. 
Continue. Delete adaptation. And then next you want to go ahead and reset adaptation. Continue. Continue. Switch up the car. Switch the car by gone. The adaptation value have been fully reset, so we are all done. Switch up initial and allow vehicle to go to sleep for two minutes, and we should be all good. the next day all right guys so as of now the injectors are in there's no leaks so i'm gonna go ahead and put back all my covers i did run the car yesterday just to move it in and out of the garage it idled just fine so far so now we're gonna move on to the boot mod Gonna go to my maps. I'm currently running the stage two E30 tune configuration. As you guys can see, DI fuel injectors, you're gonna go with the F10 Euro 5 injector. That's pretty much the only thing I'm gonna be changing right now. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and flash it. Flash. Stage two hybrid E30 Og tank. Flash, flash. <laughs> done so now I'm just gonna go ahead and um done 
Usually it tells you right here if you have multiple maps the latest flash. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the car off. Let it go to sleep completely. That's what I usually do. And um and then we're gonna restart it. And that should be it pretty much guys. So remember if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like, subscribe to the channel. I got more content on the way. I'm I'm almost done with where I want to be with the F80. So next probably gonna be a custom tune. And I need some better tires. I'm probably gonna go with our triple eights. If you know if you think the Mickey Thompson Street is better than the R Triple Eight, let me know. And um yeah guys, uh, once again thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's go ahead and do a start before I close out. Let's see what it sounds like. For some reason I can't get my core start raw to work anymore since I went stage two. I keep changing the setting. Let's see if it works this time. All right, the car went to sleep completely. First start. The item is pretty good. I do have E30 in the car right now. So there you have it, guys.